Welcome to an Anyone Can Code video where I will teach you more about coding. As you probably know, I'm Yuma. I have published several apps on the App Store, and today I'll teach you more about Swift and ARKit with a simple app for you. The app in question, though, is a really special app, and it's a throwback to one of my first videos teaching how to make a simple dice app using UIKit. But this time, it's an upgraded version of that, and it has two dice and augmented reality. Before we begin, please follow me on Twitter at Yuma and you can see what I've done at www.madebyyuma.com. So, let's get started! Okay, so I have actually uh, prepared uh, this app and well, there's not many things that I've done. I just uh, did some cleaning. I, I got rid of a ship that comes with the app. So when you create it, well, the ship's there. But anyway, I just got rid of that. Uh, it, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like this spaceship that Apple just gave you, like just gives you when, yeah, when you create a new project, AR project. And the first thing we need to do is it's called the tracker. When you're scanning the floor to place the object or surface, the user needs to know where you're like where you're going to place it or where the app's going to place it. So it's just this visual tracker. So first of all, we we just need to uh, create the the tracker and stuff. But before that, I'm just gonna show you what these things do so you can see that there are three three functions and well first of all um you're getting the scene and well this is sync it so sync it always is a scene which which is where you put all your stuff in and where you can play around with that stuff so now we're getting it and so it's just creating new scn scene and well it's asking us for the path file, and in this case, it's art.scn assets, as you can see, slash scene.scn. From here, we just set the scene and then set up these statistics. So at the bottom, there's this bar, and then it tells you frame rate and stuff. And this is just delegate, so so you can so it gives you um, access to do these special functions like update time. But I'm not gonna. I'm just. I'm not gonna dive in too much into that stuff and this is just uh starring a configuration well meaning that it's starting a session so uh a new ar kit session so it's just when you start the app it'll just start the camera it'll just start everything it'll just prepare everything and then here this is when it ends when you quit the app so this means pause but actually it means stop so anyway that's what this stuff does. But anyway, let, let's create some variables first. So the first one we're going to create is for the is for the tracker. So we're just going to call it a tracker node. But we're just going to set it as a type, and there's many types: a string, integer. But we're going to make an SEN node, which is an object in Syncit. Now the next. Thing we're going to create is called the position uh, or tracking position. Now you don't need to call it tracking position but it is just to know where we're going to put it and it's called a and now we're going to create this thing called an SCN vector 3 which is just a coordinate uh, so it's x, y and z so horizontal, vertical and towards you and away from you. But anyway we're going to Put zero zero zero, and um, just so you just for people who are new to ARCA or new to Swift, the the vector like if so if you do one like this, that means it'll be one meters uh, horizontally. So it's it's in meters. So this is just zero zero zero. It's just default. And then next thing we're going to do is called um the started. Up. And so started is just 
just to make sure that it started or not. It's just to prevent some stuff from happening. I'll just tell you about it later. And the final one will be um, found surface. And this one I'll just tell you later. Here we go. And by the way, false is just a boolean, so it could be true or false, just like saying yes or no. So it started, has it started? No, not yet. Has it found a surface? No, not yet. Anyway, now let's go here and we'll just do the. Okay, so render and update time. So that means just every frame, so every time the screen updates, it'll just run this. Uh, and so what do we want to do in it? Well, we're just going to do this. Oh, I'll just tell you uh, straight away. So first of all, we're just making sure that the game hasn't started because this is for a tracking. So it's called guard. It's You could just do, well, you can do if. So if started, you know, else, that's that kind of stuff. But guard is special because if you, if you know that you just want to make sure if it, it's this, and then if not, then you'll just get off a function and stop the function. Well, you can just do one line, and it's called guard. And so, and then it's a condition. So, if it hasn't started, and that's where the start thing came from. So, just preventing it from tracking over and over again when it start when it's started. So, it's safe in memory and makes it a lot better. And then after that, you put in else and return. So if it hasn't started, then it'll go to it'll do all this all this stuff here. Quite simple. And if it has started, and so that means that it'll just go here and return means that you just get a function. And this means that it's not. So if it hasn't started. And so, if it hasn't started, then we're doing another guard. This is to, to make sure this is called guard net. It's, it's just like if let. Um, and if you don't know what all this stuff is and you just need a refresher, then you can go to my previous videos where I talk about some like simple stuff like uh, how to make a dice app. Oh, well, not dice AR, not like this one. It's just like previous videos. It's, it's like dice, except you like it. But anyway, so uh, now we're going to do a hit test so we can find a surface. So we're making sure that, uh, so it's just trying to find a surface. Uh, that's it basically. I'm not going to go too much into detail. Uh, but anyway, now, now, we, now we need to find a surface in a position on the 2D screen. And well, we're just gonna find it in the center of the screen. And so we're just going to create a CT point and that's basically screen coordinates. So it's a 2D coordinate, X and Y. No, no Z. Um and so the X will be uh, view dot frame dot mid X. So that means we're getting the, the view, which is a screen. And then we're just getting the middle, the X, which is where my mouse is. You can see it's going to be mid X. And then also we need the mid Y, so it can be exactly in the center, right about where my mouse is. Uh, so, be the friend of mid Y. And so now we need uh, some types, and that is like how it finds it. So, first of all, we're going to do existing frame. And by the way, uh, this comes in the order of the priority. So, uh, an existing plane that's already found is first priority. Second priority will be feature points. So it's just like unique, um, unique things, um, unique uh, features. Like my shirt here has some like fabric stuff. I'm not sure you can see it, but that makes it unique, and that's a feature point. And um, and so here. The, the last go-to would be uh, estimated horizontal plane. So it's just estimating. And so now after that, we need to get the position. So, so we're getting a tra transform. 
and that's like a world that's just a transformation so so we can uh so we can get its coordinates but it's not just coordinates it could be rotation could be um could be like yeah just like rotation position there's scale but anyway we're just getting the world coordinates Oh wait, there's a problem here. Oh, forgot to put in the else and return. Anyway, so hit test dot world coordinates. If I can, uh, oh, by the way, this comes in an array. We just want to get the first one, and that should work. So basically, there will be many hit tests, like many hit test results. And will be the first one, will be the last one. You know, we just want to get the first one. And so now we're just going to work transform. And we're just going to convert this into an SCN vector, SCN matrix 4, which is just this is a SCN matrix 4 x4. Uh, we just want to make it SCN matrix 4. And well, it's if you see dot. Will be like n11, n12, um, and if you want to get a position, it's n41, n42, and n43. So position. So now we're going to set the tracking position, and we're going to set that to a trans dot m41, which is the x trans dot m42, which is a y. And trans dot m four three. And by the way, it's not trans; it's uh, transform. Just like to say it as is. But anyway, uh, that's such done. Uh, now we just need to create the tracker. But we don't want to keep creating it every frame. We want to create it just once. So, so we're going to have something. Um, so if found surface, and well, if it has if it hasn't found surface found a, sur a first su surface yet, then well, we we'll just create it. And by the way, we'll just um, set that found surface equals to true. So it's kind of like a lock. So so if this happens, well, like. This will happen, but then after that, it will always go to found surface equals to true. Well, actually, we're going to put it down here just to save some memory. I mean, it's just like a tiny bit, but yeah, so it will just lock it, and this will never ever happen again. If you know what, if you have, well, if you understand, that is. Anyway, so now we're going to create the track node. And we start with creating the shape. And it's going to be a flat plane. So let SCN, oh, well, let tracker plane equals to SCN plane. And here we go. It'll ask us for a width and a height. And we're just going to make it 0 0.2 by 0 0.2. And remember, it's in uh, meters. So for Americans for those Americans, sorry, you, you like you're used to feet, but you have to get used to meters. Like meters is a new thing. Anyway, so now we're going to uh set how it looks like, and let's call the material. Uh oh, it's tracker dot tracker plane dot dot first. Material dot diffuse dot content, and they'll equal to the tracker. There we go. Uh, and so also we want to make it double sided because originally, uh, because uh in as in default you can see it on one side, but if you look at the other side, you can't see it. So let's make it double sided. Uh, so tracker plane dot first material dot is double sided equal to true. Anyway, so now it's going to be, it's now going to look like this uh, tracker image. And so let's, let's, let's make the tracker node. 
And so, so now we're making a tracking uh, SCN node, and it's, ask, it's asking us for geometry. And that's where our tracker plane comes in. So we just put tracker plane in, and it's created a tracker node. So, well, for those of you who are new to Sync and ARKit, well done. That's your first, well, node that you've created, I guess. But anyway, we're going to now uh, uh, set something of the Euler angles. And, well, we're just going to, because, well, first of all, it will look like it will look like this, and it will just be facing up. You just want it to face flat down because this is a floor. It's meant to look like this, not like this, or like yeah, like that. Anyway, and so it's uh, it it won't be in degrees, and sorry for the Euler angles is rotation. Uh, it's just basically the same as rotation, and. And so it's in radians, not in degrees. So we're going to do uh, minus pi uh, times 0 0.5. So that'll be 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. And so now we're going to add it. So zine view dot scene dot root node. I know this is really long, but add child node. Here we go. And so this is where we add our tracker node. So we're getting the scene view scene, we're getting the scene's root node, which is a, the node that holds everything, and we're going to add something to the root node. There we go. And also, final thing, we have to set the position. So tracker node the position, and there'll be, um, the, will be the tracking position. Okay, so here we are. And, oh, there we go, that's our tracker node. And, oh, that's cool. Uh, looks just like a tracker should always look like. Anyway, uh, so I'm tapping right now and, well, there's, like, you can't really do much, like, it, it won't add the dice. But we're going to add that next. That's it for part one. In part two, we will add the dice and make them roll. For more, you can visit my website at www.madebyyuma.com and please hit the subscribe and like button. And as usual, goodbye!